Hi, welcome boys and girls of all ages. The Pulpa Queen is here today to have a very special noontime story time. Because here in the magical woods that I live at Holly Lake Ranch, I happen to find on my cookbook shelf a wonderful book that I've forgotten all about. One that I used to use all the time with my two daughters when they were little. So now I am going to uh, tell you about this book and I want to share it with my grandson Hawthorne and all the little boys and girls out in the world and all of us young at heart that still like to play. This wonderful book is called Mud Pies and Other Recipes, a cookbook for dolls. It has got the most wonderful illustrations I have ever seen. And I love this book so much. It's uh, written by Marjorie, Win Marjorie Winslow. So I'm going to put on, the Pulpa Queen is going to put on her magical reading glasses because she is at the age where she really needs some help seeing the tiny words. But this is a book, it's a cookbook for dolls. But you know, when I was a little girl, I didn't, uh, I didn't play with dolls all that much. I like stuffed animals. I like to play out in nature in the woods and, and create things with my troll dolls and uh, little woodland scenes. So I've created a little scene that I wanna share with you all today with all my little woodland friends. I don't know if you can see Mr. Fox and my charming little teapot, but I've got birds and I've got the beast from Beauty and the Beast and the raven. I've got all these wonderful characters here for you all to see. I'm gonna scan over this so you can all see the little teacups that I've collected for tea parties with my grandson and with boys and girls everywhere because there's nothing in this world Miss Kathy loves more than story time with children. Hi, Michelle Cox. Hi, Patricia Davis. I'm so glad you're joining me today. So as I go back to this book, even though it is a cookbook for dolls, I would like to say it's also great for stuffed animals and maybe even your pets. If you have a pet cat or a dog, I'm sure they would just love to come to this story time. So it is written for all kinds of climates and especially summertime, which we know that there is nothing more fun than getting out in nature and playing in the forest and along the creek beds and in the woods and creating with our own imaginative play. Well, it's an outdoor cookbook. So later on, I'm going to create some of these things that are in the book and we're going to go outside and we're going to have an actual tea party. But I want to share this first because dolls dote on mud when properly prepared. They love the crunch of pine needles and the sweet feel of seaweed on the tongue. The marketplace then will be a forest or a sand dune, or your own backyard. You can use a stump for a counter. The sea makes a nice sink. So does the puddle at the end of a garden hose. For a stove, there is the sun or a flat stone, and ovens can be everywhere. You'll find them under bushes, in sandboxes, or behind trees. Cooking utensils should, whenever possible, be made from something that would otherwise be thrown away. Cutting the side from an empty milk carton leaves a perfect loaf pan. While slicing an inch or two from the bottom of another carton makes a good square cake pan. So does a heavy cardboard egg carton. It works very nicely as a muffin tin and as a mold for individual cakes or pies. Well, even empty frozen pie pans are very useful. So are frozen orange juice cans, cupped milk bottle tops, small flower pots, pop bottle caps, and coffee cans. Hi, Tom Walker. Welcome to my story time.
So doll cookery or stuffed animal cookery is not a very exacting art. The time it takes to cook a casserole depends upon how long your stuffed animals or pets are willing to sit at the table without falling over. And if a recipe calls for a cup of something, you can use a measuring cup or a teacup. I have a wonderful little teacup that my friend Joanne gave me. Yes, because she knows how much I love tea parties. It's wonderful to have little teacups. Doll cookery is not an exacting art. So what does it matter if you only select the best ingredients from nature? You set a fine table and you serve it with style. Oh, and in this book, it's divided up into wonderful things like here's appetizers. How many of you boys and girls out there did doll cookery and made mud pies and did all kinds of things with dirt and sawdust and pine needles and nut shells? I know I did, big time, right below my treehouse in my yard. Well, there's all ways to do kinds of or assorted hors d'oeuvres, but I really, really love this wood chip dip. Being the pulpwood queen, I think this is a perfect recipe for my stuffed animals. So in a little bowl, you mix dirt with water until you get it as thick as paste. You place this bowl on a platter surrounded by wood shavings and you scoop the dip with a wood chip. How wonderful is that, boys and girls? I can't think of anything more fun. And to go along with that little appetizer, what about a mud puddle soup? Well, all you have to do, hi, Debbie Nolan. Hi, Shanessa Glow. Hi, Barbara Shambliss. Welcome to my story time for children young and old. We're talking now about making mud puddle soup. All you have to do is find a mud puddle after a rainstorm and you seat your stuffed animals or your pets or your dolls around it and you serve. I have these wonderful little magic spoons that if they can't feed themselves, they have little crystals and I can serve them from the mud puddle. It's so much fun to play fantasy and makeup and dress up. I love to dress up. My closet is just full of all kinds of things that I can wear. And I hope you really enjoy my new butterfly that I got from Decorate Ornate in Gladewater. I thought it would be perfect for doing my story time today with my mud pies and other recipes. It's a cookbook for dolls. But for me, I was always more of a, stu a stuffed animal person. So it goes on to tell you all these other recipes that you can make, and I'm gonna go through some of them and tell you, here's another favorite. It's called a bark sandwich. You make a buttery mixture of dirt, lake water, and pine needles. Heap this on a piece of birch bark and serve. Oh my goodness, this little girl brought her doll's high chair out so she could serve it in the little chair. Isn't that wonderful? When I go to make these things, I'm going to do it. I have an area by my art studio that is covered with green moss. It is the perfect tablecloth for having a wonderful mud pie tea party. I also like this one, too, because I like to recycle, don't you, to take things like my old oatmeal boxes or cardboard. In this one, it's called the Grilled Mud Sandwich. Will you spread a mud mixture between two slices of cardboard, or you could even use two old playing cards. You place on a hot, flat stone or a sidewalk in the sun to grill. Well, I'm telling you, any place that I would put these in my driveway would grill to perfection very fast. So you could have your tea party right away. And one of the other things that I love is that, did you know that you can fry water? Yes, you can. Well, you melt one ice cube in a skillet by placing it in the sun. When melted, you add one cup of water and you saute it slowly until the water is transparent. Serve small portions 
and we can do it in these little tiny cups. Here's one that I got up when I was in Bellingham, Washington. It came from not too far away from Canada. And I love it because the little the little dish that goes underneath has a, a Canadian Mountie underneath. Isn't that fun? I love collecting little teacups for tea parties, don't you? So, and then another thing you can do is you can make gravel on casserole. You fill individual casseroles with gravel. Brush with a melted ice cube, sprinkle generously with crushed dry leaves, and bake uncovered in a moderate oven until bumpy on top. How delicious. And for those of us that are near Louisiana, and we want to have a little bit of that New Orleans flair, well, you can make a crabgrass gumbo. You fill a pot with a half full of hose water, Put an armload of arm crabgrass that has been pulled up by the roots from your lawn and any other weeds or roots and all that live in your lawn, such as buckhorn, pigweed, plantain, chickweed. You season with white sand and lots of brick dusk. And I'm telling you, you'll have the best little gumbo for your dolls that you've ever seen. Now, what the wonderful thing is about playtime and your imagination, you can make it really your own recipe. You can go out into nature and find all kinds of different things that you can put in your recipes. And when you get them all done, if you will take a picture and send them to me, I will share them on my website. So the last one in the um, dessert category is the traditional and the wonderful mud pie. To, uh, you take a coffee can and you fill it three-fourths full of rich dirt and you add just enough water to make it a very firm mud. You pack this mud into cups in the bottom half of a heavy cardboard egg cart. You set in the sun to dry, just dry slightly, then turn the carton over and then mold on a sunny terrace or sidewalk. When the pies are done, you have up to 12. Oh, how wonderful. These mud pies keep indefinitely and are good to have on hand for impromptu dropping guests. So, today, as we share this wonderful book, Mud Pies and Other Recipes, this is a cookbook for dolls, or like I said, my wonderful, wonderful stuffed animals. Here I have, oh, do you all recognize this little character? It's a storybook character from the Peter Rabbit books. And I have the raven here from uh, Edgar Allan Poe. I have all kinds of little creatures here in my house, in the woods at Holly Lake Ranch. So I just want to thank you all so much for watching. I'm going to share this. So I hope Debbie, Shanessa, Barbara, Tom, all of you who join me today for the story time will gather your children or your neighborhood kids or your grandchildren or even just your best friends and have an imaginary tea party outside. So next up, you'll see the Pulpwood Queen as she gets ready for this wonderful outdoor celebration of summer. Thank you for joining me on the Pulpwood Queen Mud Pies and Other Recipe Story Time. Bye for now. Oh, and just so we can make it extra special, if you can go and get you some bubbles, I'm going to blow you some bubbles now because nothing makes things more magical than having bubbles. Thank you all for joining me. Bye, y'all. Until next time, go to www.thepulpwithqueens.com and you can all see me on social media too. Thank you for joining me. Bye for now. Bye-bye.